Hey everybody, uh, got a video we're gonna make today. Uh, me and Brandon, I know this is kind of like our shop. I know it ain't much, it's a C-Van. It's all we got to use right now. Yeah, so this is like basically all we got for shop space right now until we get better situated and we're getting through winter so it's storage too. But we're gonna make a table today for the, uh, I just bought a, a Woodley, the Jet. 1221 i'm gonna do an unboxing video for that but uh today we're gonna make a bench for it it's gonna be stout real stout we got uh we got a piece of 12 inch yeah 12 inch channel we're gonna use six inch channel on the ground for feet and then uh three by three angle up to the 12 inch to make a table we're going to do most of the saw cutting today and maybe maybe weld it together. Is that you helping us? Yeah, little baby doll, it's cold. This is going to be the top. This is what the lathe's going to bolt to. And then these small ones will be two feet running this way. And then we'll have angles coming down, coming down, welding to that, welding to this. And then where they make the A, we're gonna weld some small angle in there with the heel down, sewing up and sewing in, so we can cut a piece of plywood and put that in there and make a little shelf. What happened? This corner has to be rolled. To fit, put it in there. If you want it to, it'll sit flat like that, or it'll sit flat like that. But without roll, rolling radius in that corner, it won't sit against both sides at the same time. So we're just grinding this down and uh, lay it down. I'll grind it. And so now you'll be able to see the difference of how it goes on this side. How now that that corner's rounded, this side fits tight and this side fits tight. So we got all four legs cut now. We got the top. There's the bottom. That's six inch. We're probably going to take all this and tack it up tonight. And uh, it's almost seven. Today's second day of recording. Me and Brand are out here. I got these two legs tacked on. We got everything cut and ground up yesterday. And it got late, so we didn't want to keep going. We got, uh, we're going to clamp these other legs on and then tack them. For yeah, right there. Oh, this one's going to be hard to. little line over there to keep them even. This one's got to go out a little bit. Got the legs welded on, and the top's welded on, the legs are welded on. These channels I'm gonna cut here and over there. Cut them off so they're just as wide as the legs. This is day three of making the stand for my lathe. Um, just run out of daylight every day. I'm working 10 hours, so I don't get home until it's quarter to six now. By 8 o'clock, it'd be getting dark. So, 
by the time you cut all the metal and fit everything up and get it welded and you run out of time. Here's what I got so far. About a foot and a half down, I'm gonna weld some small one by one angle in there that I can put a um, piece of plywood on. You guys are in my video. Photo bombing. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I'll cut some one by one angle. Nice trot. <laughs> I'll stay on this side, you stay on that side. Lou <laughs> wants to help me weld, so I'm gonna let him weld a little bit. Alright, come down here. Why? It fits. I don't know how good the video is gonna be, I'll probably be in the way. Alright, here. Look. I want you to weld across here. Alright? Roll across there and roll across there. I'll roll that flat part. Yep, reach in here and put your arms up here. All right, I'll help you a little bit at first on the first one. So you can come out. Put that log back over there. There, I got it. That's cool. All right, come on. I'm going to show you on the first one. All right, ready? Now that's all the welding for the stand for my new lathe. Lou helped me finish welding it. I let him get a little practice in. Uh, you can see the angles. That's where the plywood's going to sit for a shelf. Uh, now I'm doing. I'm going to clean it up a little bit with a wire wheel, and then uh, paint her up. All right, so it's the same day, and me and Lou just got done finished painting. We painted the whole table. This is like some off gray color. I was just going to do it white, but I walked in the store, and they had a mist tint that was like $30 paint for $10, so I bought it. It was indoor-outdoor with the paint primer. So, yeah, that was that's it. Paint it. That's going to be the sh wooden shelf down there. And then my lathe's gonna get mounted here. I'm gonna do an unboxing video yeah. for the lathe. So put holes. We got we got to put it up in our drill holes. Yeah. Well, um. That's it. Yeah, I'll do an unboxing video for the lathe tomorrow, and then we'll get the lathe mounted on there. Yeah. And then uh, we're gonna start trying to turn some stuff. I'm gonna try my hand at some bowls, and eventually maybe try to do like the epoxy resin bowls. So, yeah, that was the whole video. You got the light in your eyes now. But that's the bench, all scrap. Turned out pretty good for scrap. Yeah. And Lou helped me do some welding on it. 
Yeah. You'll help me paint it. I got it. I did that one. You did all four of them, basically. Yeah. So yeah, there's the table. We're gonna put the bench, on, put the lathe on it tomorrow, and hope you like it. Thanks for watching.